Oh man, going to the same place today. It's gonna be uh, kind of cool. I'm taking the uh, younger two kids and gonna gonna hang out at the wildlife refuge. Um, this time we're gonna take a, a couple fishing rods, some a cooler um, with a couple drinks, and maybe some snacks. And kick it out that way for a little bit. Um, I'm in my yard uh, over at my boat. My boat. More to come on that later. I love this thing. It's old, it floats, it boats. Uh, grabbing some stuff to take with us. We're heading that way. Another video, and I got the little ones with me, the little minions, um, the younger ones. I don't show their faces because like I've explained before, uh, too many creepers out there, don't need no creepers. So um, anyway, the cats. So the ashes that I had to pick up from the, uh, the animal hospital were my little boy's cat named Max. We got kittens a couple months ago and they were living out in the sunroom at my house and something kept getting our like baby chickens and our big chickens and more to come on that later too. Man, I got a lot of stories to tell. Uh, there's a big wild cat that lives back in the woods behind my house and uh, it's been feasting on um, our little baby chickens and decided that it wanted to pick a fight with the two kittens one night at 3 a.m. It did and I went out there and both kittens were up on their hind legs just like wailing on the the big uh, cat, but the big cat had already gotten Max, the, the little cat, pretty bad. So got all that sorted out, cleaned up all the mess, took Max to the vet, I uh, talked to the kid's mom, um, and we both decided like, you know, it's probably gonna be basically like having a brand new baby. So I decided that uh, we were gonna try to get this, the surgery, um, but then once they started like kind of figuring out what was gonna have to happen. The cat, um, Max, didn't, he didn't make it. So we had him cremated and we had a paw print made and little dude was was so upset and my, my daughters were sad. So that's that was the trip to the animal hospital, the previous video or one of them. That's that. Now on to some positive stuff and some awesome stuff. Oh my God, look at your big deer. Hey, yo, baby. Hey, baby. Where's your baby? He's a pretty baby yourself. Hey, my dog. Oh. Just a big one, not a baby. <laughs> These kids are crazy. We were kind of fishing and then like not fishing. There's fish in there. Um, it just, now we're looking at pretty leaves and um, lily pads and all that stuff. So, at the PD National Wildlife Refuge again and um, took the kids this time. We're scoping out some ponds and just throwing some just basic stuff just to kind of see what, what might be in there. A couple nibbles, no, uh, nothing major. Probably a really good place to come like way early in the morning and throw maybe like top water if you're ever in the area. PD National Wildlife Refuge. Cool little spot. A little Google research and you can pretty much find anything. Do it. All right, we're gonna have some snack time and go check out um, the rest of the, the wildlife refuge. Excited? Abandoned, I guess, silo kind of thing. 
It's really cool. Hello. Hello. Echo. Hello. Echo. Kids don't read that. Hello. Man, that's cool. If I didn't have old man knees, I totally would have climbed that. Oh man, we made it uh, just in time. There's a pretty gnarly storm coming in, so we drove um, about 45 minutes back home. We didn't catch any fish. Uh, we didn't really fish that much. We kind of just explored, so. Uh, but that's it uh, for, for this video, so hope you guys enjoyed. Later.